upgrading from Review is on 1.3 to Review is on Pro is pretty simple, but there are a few things that you need to know. If you've made custom template changes, then you're going to need to make sure that you've made those changes in the Manage Templates page of your Review is on 1.3 installation, and that you've set the default template group to custom in the Advanced Settings page. If you haven't made any custom changes, then you don't have to worry about this step. Make sure that you back up your blog's database. It's imperative that you back it up, and if something goes wrong during the installation process, I can't help you restore your blog back to the way it was prior to the changes. Please make sure that you back it up before installing. Uploading Review is on Pro is very simple. It's been packaged to use the WordPress upload tool, so you'll upload the Review is on Pro zip file. Once it's unpacked, do not activate Review is on Pro until you have deactivated Review is on 1.3. Once you do deactivate the old version of Review is on, then you can activate version 2. Your upgrade times vary depending on how many posts that you have. Do not close the browser during the upgrade process. After the upgrade has been completed, you'll be using the Legacy Template Group. To take full advantage of Review is on 2.0, please set your default template group to default. By default, Review is on 2.0 is going to upgrade your templates uh, that you've used in version 1.3. If you've made changes to those templates, then there's something special that you have to do uh, in order for Review is on 2.0 to pick those up. There's a couple of ways that you make changes to templates um, in prior versions of Review is on, and that is you can go to the Advanced Settings page and choose Custom for the default template group. And once you do that, then you can make changes clicking on the Manage Templates menu item. Now these are all the various templates uh, that you can make changes to, and these changes were saved in the Review is on database. Now by default, Review is on 2.0 only pulls changes from the Manage Templates page. So if you've made changes to any other templates other than the method that I just described, in order for that to flow over to your upgraded Review is on 2.0 install, you're going to have to make those changes here. Now, if you don't want to make those changes here, then you can do a normal upgrade and install. And then once that's done, you can choose uh, the Review is on 2.0 default templates, which has much more features uh, than templates prior to that. So the only thing you have to do here is if you want to save your template changes, that you made prior, then you would go through the steps of making sure that your default template group is set to custom and that you've made those changes here using the Manage Templates page. In this video, we're going to take a look at upgrading Review is on 1.3 to Review is on 2.0 Beta 1. Now, the first thing you should always do when you are upgrading plugins or you're installing additional plugins to a, an already established blog is you need to back up your blog's database. And I can't stress enough how important that is because if something goes wrong, then if you don't have a good database backup, you could potentially not be able to bring your blog back online. So the first thing I always do is go to my hosting provider cPanel and click on the PHP My Admin interface. Choose the blog that you want, database that you want to back up, and then it should take you to a screen similar to this that lists out all of your uh, database tables for the blog. Next, click on the Export tab, and then choose Save as File. Click the Go button. Now what that should do is should prompt me to download a file of all of my database information. And then I'll take that and I'll save it on my local PC.
It should take just a second. It may take a while for you to download it depending on how big your database is. All right, so that's finished. So now that I've made a backup copy of my WordPress uh, database, then what I, what I want to do is I want to go and actually do perform the upgrade. So I'll go to uh, the WordPress admin for this blog. And the first thing we have to do is we have to upload the Review is on Pro plugin. So click on Add New under the Plugins section and click the Upload link. And now we're going to browse for the Review is on Pro plugin, which is a zip file, uh, which is it's great. WordPress will take the zip file and it'll upload it to your server uh, or your blog, and then you can choose to activate it if you want. So we'll choose that and click the Install Now button. Now it may take a minute for WordPress to upload the plugin and then unpack it and but it's WordPress is really good about showing you how the progress and how it's going so okay once the plugin has uh, actually uploaded and uh, has been installed it's going to prompt you to activate you do not want to activate Review is on Pro yet because you have to go and you have to deactivate the 1.3 version first. So we'll click on the plugins um, menu item and go back to the plugins page. And now you'll see that version 2 is, is there and is installed. And what we need to do first is we need to deactivate version 1.3. There again, I want to stress do not activate version 2.0 before you deactivate version 1.3. So we'll click Deactivate. Once you've deactivated version 1.3, then you'll go and activate version 2. Click on the Activate link. And now you're going to be prompted to enter your registration code or license key. To enter your license key, Go ahead and click on the register this copy of Review is on link. This is going to take you to a Review is on upgrade and license page where you'll enter your license key. So go ahead and enter your license key and click the Start Upgrade button. Once you do that, the upgrade process will begin and it'll show you on the screen what's being upgraded and then finally when it's finished. Time could the time it takes to upgrade depends on how many review is on posts you actually have um, on the site. So obviously just a few review is on posts, it won't take very long, but if you have hundreds of review is on posts, then it will take quite a while. So go ahead and click on the Start Upgrade button. Now you'll notice on the screen that you do not want to close this browser while it's in the process of doing an upgrade. And you'll also see that as posts are being updated, you'll be able to see them in the scrollable window. And then once the Review is on Pro upgrade is complete, you'll see a link that will um, ask you to click to get started using it. By default, when you upgrade from version 1.3, to version 2, the default template group is set to a special template group called Legacy. And during the upgrade process, what we've done is, is that we've taken the templates out of the database in version 1.3 and we've created files in a special folder called Legacy. Now, out of the box, during an upgrade, it's going to use those old templates. And if you want to take advantage of some of the new features in version 2, you're going to have to set your default content template group to default. So what I would advise you to do is to um, set it to default and save it. View your blog and see how it looks. And if you want to incorporate those changes that you had made to your templates in 1.3, then you're going to need to make those changes in the new template files of Reviews on 
and I'm going to show you how to do that in a separate video. But this concludes the upgrade process from ReviewAzon version 1.3 to ReviewAzon 2.0.